Okay, today we're going to learn about solving systems of equations or linear equations, which is something similar to something we've already done when we've solved the equations. We've used the, the graphing calculator. We're going to do the same exact thing, except now we've got two equations rather than one equation. So, solving systems of linear equations. You solve a system by finding the x and y point that makes the two lines equal each other. So, this is essentially saying you find the solution by finding where the two lines intersect. So let's look at this example over here to the left. We've got two red lines and the question is asking us to select the statements select the statements that describe the graph of the linear system of equations. So we've got all these statements down here and we've got to figure out which ones describe what we're seeing. So we know that the solution to this right now is this point right here, this coordinate point is the solution because this is where they are equal or where they are intersecting and that coordinate point is let's see 2 for x and it is negative 3 for y so this is the solution to the system that it shows but let's go let's go through these um, statements and see which ones are true first one says the slope of both lines the slope of both lines are negative Right, so we've got two lines here, and it looks like the first line has a negative slope. It's going down from left to right, and it looks like the second line also has a negative slope. So we can go ahead and say, yep, both lines have a negative slope. The y-intercept of one line is negative. Well, we've got this first line that's crossing at negative 2. And the second line is crossing at a positive 5. So the first line has a y-intercept that is negative, And it's asking us for one line. So the y-intercept of one line is negative. That's also true. The solution to the system of equations is on the y-axis. Well, we know that the solution for the system of equations is right here. And the y-axis is over here. So I'm not seeing the two lines intersecting on the y-axis. So I would say, no, that's not true. The solution is not on the y-axis. The y-intercept of one line is positive. Well, we know that the first line had a negative y-intercept, and the second line is crossing at a positive 5. So we can say, yeah, the, the y-intercept of one line is positive. The solution to the system of equations is on the x-axis. So are the two lines crossing or intersecting on the x-axis? Well, the x-axis is right here. And the two lines are intersecting right here. So, no, they're not. The solution is not on the x-axis. The equation of one line is y equals negative one-half x minus two. Well, the equation to the first line is got a y-intercept of negative two, obviously. And a rise and a run of, let's see, crosses right there, then it crosses right here. So it rises 1 and runs 2. So it's got a slope of 1 over 2, and it's a negative 1 over 2. That's kind of hard to see. V equals negative 2. M equals negative 1 over 2. So the equation for that would be 1, negative 1 half, x minus 2. And that is, in fact, the equation that it gives us. So we can go ahead and say, yeah, the equation for one of the lines is negative one-half x minus two. And then it says the solution to the system of equations is negative three, two. We have two negative three, so it's trying to trick us um, and, and give us the y value first, right? But the solution is clearly two comma negative three, so we can say no, this is not the solution. The equation of one of the lines is negative four x plus five, y equals negative four x plus five. So the equation of the second line B value is 5, and another point that we can use to figure out the slope, we can use this point, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, it rises 4, goes over 1, so 4 over 1, and it's a negative 4, because the slope is negative. So the equation for this one would have been y equals negative 4x plus 5. And I would use decimals to, to type it in to see, okay, are the lines... Um, the same. And it looks like the equation is good. So yes, one of the equations is this. 
the slope of both lines are positive. No, we've already determined that the slope of both lines are negative, so it can't be this. It can't be this. The solution to the system of equations is 2, comma 3. And that's what we have. We've got 2 for x and negative 3 for y. Solve the following linear system. When possible, present the solution as a coordinate point. So we're going to we're going to graph both of these equations, and um, the steps we're graphing were in the previous part. So the first part is to graph the two equations. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 4x minus y equals negative 26, and the second equation is already in slope-intercept form, negative 7x plus 4. So I've typed in both of the equations, and now what I'm looking for is where the two lines intersect because that is the solution to this system. So we have um, a really, oh, negative 7. So I've typed it in wrong. It should be a negative 7. Okay. So where the two lines intersect, that is the solution. You can see they're intersecting right here. And so our solution is that coordinate point, which is negative 2, comma, 18. Extremely important that I don't mix up the x value and the y value and say 18 comma negative 2, that's a different point. 18 comma negative 2 would be somewhere over here. So very important that we keep the coordinate point in the right order. So the following linear system, when possible, present the solution as a coordinate point. Again, let's go ahead and, and graph these two equations and um, figure out where they intersect. So 3x plus 7y equals negative 5. And we've got negative 2x plus 8y equals 0. Okay, so we've got our two equations and we're finding the point where they equal each other. And that point is right here. You can see it's the only time that they cross. If they cross multiple times, we'd have multiple solutions. And that solution is 4 for x and 1 for y.